They say seeing is believing. But what if you could feel believing? What if you could step beyond the limits of your physical senses and enter a world so real, so immersive, it would redefine the very nature of experience? This isn't science fiction. This is the future of reality. Full Dive VR. Let's be honest, current VR is... Well, it's a start. But it's like watching a movie on a tiny blurry screen. It's not exactly convincing. But what if we could fix all of that? What if we could break through these limitations and create something truly extraordinary? The first step is reinventing the way we see. Forget screens, think sensory immersion. We're talking displays with microscopic pixels, refresh rates that defy the limits of human perception. Micro OLED and micro LED are the key, unlocking resolutions that surpass even the sharpest human eye. But it's not just about more pixels, it's about smart pixels. Foveated rendering, powered by lightning-fast eye tracking, focuses processing power only where you're looking, creating incredible detail without melting your computer. And to truly immerse you, we need a panoramic view, a full 200-degree field of view, like taking off those ski goggles and seeing the world in all its glory. This requires revolutionary optics like pancake lenses and potentially combining multiple displays. Now, a word of caution. Some very experimental concepts explore direct retinal projection, using lasers to project images directly onto the retina. While theoretically intriguing, this is extremely dangerous and carries a significant risk of eye damage. This is highly speculative research and should be approached with extreme caution. We must prioritize safety. But seeing is believing is only half the story. To truly be present, you need to feel. Imagine running your fingers across virtual velvet, feeling the soft fibers against your skin. Haptic suits using everything from precise vibrations to advanced electrical muscle stimulation are bringing the sense of touch into the digital realm. Exoskeletons can provide resistance and force feedback, letting you experience the weight of a virtual object or the impact of a virtual force. And the future of touch? Ultra haptics using precisely focused ultrasound could create complex tactile sensations in midair. We're also exploring thermal feedback for temperature and even taste and smell interfaces, which could involve microfluidics or even optogenetics, truly bringing all the senses into play. Imagine tasting a virtual strawberry or smelling the virtual ocean breeze. Now we're entering truly uncharted territory, connecting directly to the human mind. Brain-Computer Interfaces, or BCIs, are the key to unlocking true mind-machine interaction. Non-invasive methods like EEG can read brain activity from the scalp, offering the tantalizing possibility of controlling virtual avatars with the power of thought. Invasive BCIs, while offering far greater precision, raise significant ethical and safety concerns. We also have emerging technologies like closed-loop BCIs, giving real-time feedback, and even neuromodulation techniques like TMS and TDCS. However, these are still highly experimental and require careful ethical consideration. Imagine bypassing the need for controllers entirely, simply thinking your way through the virtual world. But what truly makes a world believable, it's not just the technology, it's the artistry. AI is crucial for creating dynamic and responsive virtual environments, populating them with intelligent NPCs that learn and react to your every move. And to truly feel present, you need to feel like you inhabit your virtual body. This is where full body tracking and virtual body mapping come in, creating a seamless connection between your real and virtual self. Imagine looking down and seeing your own hands, uh, your own body, perfectly replicated in the digital realm. Now we're going to push the boundaries of what's even conceivable. We're talking about direct neural interfaces that could decode and encode complex sensory information directly to the brain, bypassing our natural senses entirely. Programmable matter that could create physical objects on demand within the virtual world. Quantum computing, which could simulate entire universes with unimaginable detail. We even have to think about how VR could warp our perception of time and the fundamental question of consciousness itself. And let's not forget the persistent challenge of VR sickness. Advanced solutions might involve VOR training or even simulating artificial gravity and inertia. Imagine experiencing time differently 
or even stepping into a world made of pure thought. But with such incredible power comes immense responsibility. We must confront the ethical dilemmas, the potential for addiction, the blurring of reality, and the impact on society. The rise of interconnected virtual worlds, the metaverse, brings its own set of questions about identity, ownership, and the very fabric of human connection. Responsible development is not just a choice, it's a necessity. We must ask ourselves, what does it mean to be human in a world where reality can be so easily manipulated? Full Dive VR is not just a technological challenge, it's, it's a human one. It's a quest to understand ourselves, our senses, and the nature of reality itself. While it's still some time away, the journey to achieve it will undoubtedly transform our world in ways we can only begin to imagine. This is not just the future of gaming or entertainment. This is the future of experience. An experience I hope you all are excited for.